Hello, today we will be going over the Caldera Spas Utopia series keypad. Uh, this keypad is completely touchscreen um, and it comes in all of the current Utopia series Caldera Spas. So this will serve as a hot tub 101 if you will to completely go over the functionality of the keypad. Don't hesitate to give one of our stores a call if you would like to be given more detail of anything that uh, I may have missed in this video. So here we go. So first thing that people like to do is uh, to adjust the temperature. So in order to adjust the temperature, we're just going to touch over the actual temperature of the spa. And you can see just because this is a display spa that we actually have the set temperature at 80, which is actually the lowest the spa can go. Um, but it, to increase the temperature, we're just going to hit the up button. It can go as high as 104 degrees, and it's as simple as doing that. And then just go back to the home screen. So the lights right here can be turned on. Now you have four preset moods. Uh, these four moods are what Caldera has had preset on the tub. You cannot change them. Um, I will show you a way uh, that you can actually have your own preset in the spa. Uh, but so uh, those are all the different four moods that you could have. So under all lights, you can change quickly all lights in the spa. The little rainbow one down here is going to be for the color wheel that will automatically cycle between all of the different color options. You can also, by hitting these arrows, change the um, brightness of the lights that are coming on. Uh, so hit this bottom arrow right here. This is when you can get into more customization. You can actually, uh, there are four zones uh, that the spa can have a different color scheme too. So you can have the underwater lights um, at a different color than the top side or you can have the waterfall off or just the exterior lights on. It's 100% customizable. Uh, come in here you can spend you know a good long while coming up with all different creative uh, lighting options but um, if you were to find a lighting option that you like um, what you would do is come over hit the house and then we would hit this M button which is memory and then if you hit the save it will actually save uh, the lighting setting that you have it will also save the jets if you want to include the jets in that setting um, and so that's all you would do is when you were done with the spa you hit the power button go inside and then when you wanted to come back out hit the memory and hit restore and it will remember the lighting and or the jet settings that you had on. Um, it's almost like the driver settings on the new cars. Uh, so anyway, <clears throat> the jets can be opened up here. First time you hit it, Jet Pump 2 is gonna come on low speed. Uh, you can see the Jet Pump 2 is a dual speed pump. Jet Pump 1 is a single speed pump. We can hit Jet Pump 2 to cut it on high speed. Or we can have Jet Pump 1 on by itself. Or you can have both of them on. Hitting the power button like that will cut off the jets with one button, or it'll cut them on with one button. Go back to the home screen. So um, I've already gone over the memory settings. Uh, this is actually a filtration cycle. Your spa will do an automatic filtration cycle twice a day, once every 12 hours, and that is set by uh, when the actual breakers were turned on for the spa it's itself. If you wanna have a third filtration cycle, you can actually hit this to turn it on. You should have to push and hold it. Uh, and what it will do is it will have a third filtration cycle that will come on once every 24 hours. And so what you would do is the time you want it to cut on, you can actually 
come out, out here and do that. Uh, a manual way is just hit the start button. Uh, now the tub itself will not remember when you hit this button. So the only time that you, um, so the only time that it will remember is if you actually come in here and hit the auto and remember to push and hold that. The settings, which is the little gear down here, this is when we can get into the settings of the spa. Uh, so you can actually have temperature lock on or off, a spa lock on or off, light timer or summer timer. The temperature lock will be, uh, again, for, to turn these on and off, you actually have to push and hold. Uh, you, it's, it's not just as simple as pressing it. You actually have to push and hold it to have it switch over. Um, but anyway, temperature to lock will lock the set temperature so it's not accidentally uh, changed. Spa lock, it will actually lock out the functions of the keypad uh, so any unwanted guests or anything like that wouldn't be able to use your spa. However, the spa will still filter, maintain temperature, and take care of itself. Light timer is a 24-hour uh, exterior only lighting feature which it will, uh, every 24 hours from the time that you actually turned it on, it will cut the exterior only lights on and keep them on for six hours. So if you have any external, you know, landscaping lighting and you want your hot tub to be a part of that, you can certainly turn it on. And then summer timer uh, is a way to, in the summer months, you're not gonna use it in the winter months, but it's a way to combat uh, the direct sunlight hitting against your tub, causing it to overheat. It'll actually shut the heater off of the spa uh, for you during the day. This is where you can actually change between Fahrenheit and Celsius. You can change the brightness of the LCD back screen, and then you can actually take it off of English if you wanted your spa to uh, have a different language to it. Oh, hit the keypad, the home button. Um, another thing that you can do up here, you see these little circle if you actually push that pardon my reach you will invert the screen uh, so that way you don't have to strain your neck when you're in the spa it will actually invert the entire screen uh, so that way you can operate it from inside the spa that has been the entire um, overview of the top side for a Caldera Utopia series spa if you have any further questions or if you'd like for us to go into more detail, don't hesitate to call one of our locations and a salesperson would be more than happy to take care of you. Uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day and happy hot tubbing.